Hey guys, Switch up here today. I'm doing a quick tip video helping you guys have healthier clears when it comes to the jungle. This is a really important thing to get down because everything begins with your jungle clears. If you can do them efficiently, effectively, and healthily, then you'll be able to set up pressure, get kills, whatever else you want to do. If you can't do them effectively and you're really low and you're clearing all the time, then it's really hard for you to get anything going. So, really important to get down. As always, if you do enjoy this video and you find the tips useful, don't forget to leave that cheeky thumbs up down below. But getting straight on with the first tip today, do not use your smite on the first camp. The reason why you don't need to use your smite on the first camp is because you don't need it, really. Like, you get a heal from your smite, which is really useful in that first clear. And unless you really get low on health when you're doing the first camp, which is very rare to happen, especially if you get a leash, you're not going to need that extra heal. So just take the first camp without smite, then save your smite for when you move on to the second camp. Second tip, when you're taking the Krug specifically, kite the mini Krug around the big Krug. The way you do this is pretty much how you're doing it on screen right now. It's pretty simple, but essentially this just means that you're only tanking one Krug when you're clearing it. And early on, that little difference makes pretty big difference in the long run. Third tip, learn to optimize your clearing if it's on a champion that does have a certain mechanic that they need to employ to optimize that clear. Specifically, Lee Sin with his passive, learn to use that. Use an ability, two hits, ability, two hits, ability two hits and get that down. If you're playing Kha'Zix, make sure you're focusing the minis down first so that you're getting the isolation. Playing Elise, learn how to use the Spiralings properly to juggle aggro while also having extra DPS to kill the camps faster. And of course, if you've got like an auto attack reset in your kit as well, make sure you're using that. Number four, do not do the chicken camp unless you have a really amazing AoE clear. Most junglers do not have this and the chicken camp is really hard for them to take for that reason. Bruisers, once they buy a team at, can start taking the chicken camp but before that time, it usually beats the crap out of them. But people like Hecarim or Skarner who can spam an AoE ability, they're pretty much the only people who can do that chicken camp in the early game without losing loads of health. Number five, ask for a big leash. Talking to your teammates goes a long way. I know you guys probably think you're queued 24 7 with boosted monkeys who are horrible and hate you and never help the jungler and oh my goodness, you need a hell, but calm down, it's okay. Chances are if you ask your teams for a big leash, they'll probably give you a big leash. Even if it doesn't happen in every single game, even if it happened one in every hundred games, which I guarantee you will happen more frequently than that. But even if it did, that's still one game out of a hundred, you've got a massive leash. It doesn't take a lot to ask your team for help and chances are they'll give it to you. Tip number six, don't be afraid to get the Hunter's Potion on your first back. Some people tend to be quite hesitant to get Hunter's Potion because they think it puts their build behind. And whereas of course it will put your build behind it's only 250 gold it's really not that much and considering once you get it you pretty much don't have to worry about your clears whatsoever i think that's a pretty good investment to have tip number seven my lucky number scuttle crabs scuttle crabs are your best friend when it comes to healing from the jungle scuttle crabs do not hit you back but when you hit them if you've got medallion you'll be leeching some health back if you've got hunt's machete you got the extra life still you'll be healing off of them when you're hitting them and on top of that when they die they give you a little bit health back as well Tip number eight. Attack speed runes. Attack speed runes are really important for clearing the jungle. Most junglers will want to be taking attack speed in some form in their rune page. Even if they're champions who don't want to be building attack speed as a stat, attack speed in the rune page is really important for those early clears. Tip number nine, the penultimate tip here. Honey fruit. It's a new fruit that's been put into the game. Most people seem to think that it doesn't even exist. They don't play around the honey fruit at all. If you see it in the river, you can pick it up. It gives you a huge heal. It may seem like an obvious one, but I still see way too many people not even realizing this thing even exists. And finally, the last tip for this video, tip number 10. Check the comments of this video. If you are someone who has extra tips, something that I haven't mentioned that you use to have healthier clears, write them down below in the comments of this video. And if you're someone who wants some extra tips, read the comments of this video because you might pick something up. It's wonderful what the power of the community can do. I know League of Legends community is the most amazing community in the world, so let's go ahead and put that to the test, shall we? But either way, that's what I want to say for this video, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can chuck that cheeky thumbs up like I mentioned in the beginning. You can subscribe to me for more League of Legends content. You can find me on Facebook, on Twitter, catch streaming, twitch.tv slash foxshop. Don't forget to subscribe to my second gameplay channel, full gameplays every single day. Most importantly, boys and girls, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you in my next video.